Kira. Um, I used to have this uh, game that I used to play many years ago uh, involving music and it was in the days of CDs before MP3 and what I used to do was I used to play, uh, I used to get somebody to play just a second of any CD in my collection, they could skip to any track, fast forward it, play it just for a second and then stop it again and just on that little bit of music I could tell them what song it was from what album and, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, I can see that it's a game you'd love to play, you look very <laughs> impressed by that. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the skill developed further than that. And I'd like to show you what I mean. Uh, what I've got here on these uh, otherwise blank cards, you see that little dot there? That's just to tell me which way around the words are. Because what I've got here are some of the most popular songs I could think of. I think there's about 30, give or take. We've got Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Happy Birthday by Anonymous. I don't know who wrote it, but I bet he's kicking himself because he would have made a fortune in royalties by now, right? Amy Winehouse, Valerie, Imagine by John Lennon, God Save the Queen by the Sex Pistols, on and on. Let it go from the Frozen soundtrack. God knows we all love that. <laughs> We've got White Christmas by Bing Crosby, Back for Good, Wonderwall. Hound Dog, Elvis Presley, and so on and so forth. All songs that you recognise, I hope, right? Yeah. Yellow Submarine by The Beatles. All about that bass, the bass, Megan Trainor. Love that one. The uh, whole album is, is just my favourite thing. No, no cry by Bob Marley. Do you think I'm sexy? Uh, no, I know. <laughs> it, that, it was the title of the song, but I always wait for the answer because, you know, I'm playing my cards right. Angels by Robbie Williams. Uh, Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon. The Birdie Song. Thinking Out Loud, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. You get the picture, right? Mm hmm what I'd like you to do is take the cards and shuffle them all up and make sure that they're absolutely in a random order because I want this to be as random as possible. And uh, in a moment, you're going to select a number. It's like pressing shuffle on your iPod, except you're really physically shuffling. <laughs> it's a joke that I'm extremely proud of. I laughed. Uh, in, inside, <laughs> inside, I'm pissing myself laughing, Dev. Are they in a random order? Yes. Very good. Place them on the table. Now, cut off about half. Yeah, and shuffle them up as well. Now, there's no way you can know which ones you've left on the table or which ones you've left in your hand, right? No. That's fair to say. So what I want you to do now is to take about half of what you've got and place them back on this pile. There you go. Now, it's fair to say that I can't know how many cards or what cards are left, right? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do, because I, I need you to think of a number, but I don't want it to be like your door number or something. Okay. Uh, so, you know, because maybe I know that information. So this way we get a random number, because you don't know how many cards are there, right? No. Take that, I'll turn away, take them and count how many you've got, so you end up with a number in your mind. Yep. You've done that? Yep. Okay, now what I want you to do is hide those cards, we'll put them <laughs> under the tablecloth, right out of sight, okay? Because mm -hmm. I don't want you to think, no, you can maybe have a look and count how many. Okay. okay, so now you're thinking of a number, and here's how we select your song. I'm going to show you cards one at a time. Okay. And all you do is remember the song and the artist on the number that you're thinking of. You see what I mean? So this would be one if you only had one card. Mm -hmm. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You didn't have more than ten no. cards. No. So you're thinking now of a song and an artist. Yeah. Do you know the yes. song and the artist? You do. Good. So very much like back in the day when I used to do this uh, sort of trick where I would remember or I would be able to identify the song from such a tiny portion, what I told you was uh, the skill sort of developed since then. Okay. And now, despite the fact that you could be thinking of any, literally any song, mm -hmm. is that fair? Yep. You could be thinking of any one of these songs. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. Despite that, I'm going to... Um, Try and tell you just what song you're thinking of. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to turn them up. It wasn't this one, was it? No. Nope. Okay. okay. Think of the song now. Keep it in your mind. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pick up. Can you sort of hum it to yourself? Is that possible? You don't need to hum it out loud, but in you can sit in, in yourself. Okay. And, uh, and, and the artist as well. Think of the artist as well where you hum it. And if you can picture them, whether it's a female or a male artist. Are you, picture, are you picturing that person now? Yeah. You're picturing a male Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, what's funny is he's uh, like, I, I get the sense he's flamboyant, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of flamboyant in some way. Like you, he's, he's wearing like something. So the tune is going like this. Da, 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 da. 
something like da 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 da, and then he's um. This is a massive star, isn't it? This is like a massive, huge star, right? Yeah. Da 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 You ain't nothing but it. You think the hound dog by Elvis Presley? Is that right? How'd you get? I told you it's the skill I've developed over the years. I like that. You know, you can take it on shuffle. Again, well done. Well, well done for singing it in key. That's uh, that was important because I would never have got it if you, you were doing it in G because everybody knows it's in C. <laughs>